Welcome to an example of column division, also known as sharing or grouping division. We are given the quotient 525 divided by three. We will view this quotient as $525 divided by three, and then interpret the meaning as having $525 as five $100 bills, two $10 bills, and five $1 bills, which because we're dividing by three, we want to share equally among three friends. The next step is to write the quotient in long division form. We have the dividend of 525 divided by the divisor of three. And now we'll form a column for each digit in the dividend. We have a column for the five in the hundreds, the two in the tens, and the five in the ones. And now we begin sharing the $525 by sharing the five $100 bills. Because we have five $100 bills, which we want to share equally among the three friends, we know we can give each of the three friends one $100 bill, but we cannot give them two $100 bills because two times three is six, and we only have five $100 bills. So because we give each of the three friends one $100 bill, we place a one above the five in the quotient. And again, if we give each of the three friends one $100 bill, we will give out three $100 bills. We record a three below the five. Also notice one times three is three, and now we subtract. Five minus three is equal to two, which indicates we still have two $100 bills. But we cannot share these two $100 bills equally among the three friends, and therefore we perform an exchange. Each $100 bill is equal to 10 $10 bills, and therefore we exchange these two $100 bills for 20 $10 bills, and we already have two $10 bills, so now we have 22 $10 bills, which we want to share equally among the three friends. And because seven times three is equal to 21, we have enough $10 bills to give each of the three friends seven $10 bills. We record a seven in the quotient. Notice how we cannot give each of the three friends eight $10 bills, because eight times three is 24, and we only have 22 $10 bills. So if we give each of the three friends seven $10 bills, we will give out 21 $10 bills. Also notice seven times three is 21. And now we subtract, the difference here is one, which means we still have one $10 bill, but because we cannot share this one $10 bill equally among the three friends, we perform another exchange. We exchange this one $10 bill for 10 $1 bills. And we already have five $1 bills, so now we have a total of 15 $1 bills, which we now want to share equally among the three friends. And because five times three is equal to 15, we can give each of the three friends five $1 bills. We record the five in the quotient. If we give each of the three friends five $1 bills, we have given out 15 $1 bills. We record the 15. Again, also notice that five times three is 15. We subtract, the difference is zero, which means there are no bills remaining. So now we know each of the three friends will receive $175 or 525 divided by three equals 175. I hope you found this helpful.